All right, air signs, this is your mid-month June reading. Lots of stuff happening in the cosmos next week. Um, so I just wanted to tap into your guys' energy. Hey, um, I want to tap into your guys' energy and kind of see what's going on. Lots of, I already felt like my heart started to pick up a pace. So again, with the movement, again, with things opening up. Um, so yeah, let's see what the situation is for you guys. Let's see air signs, sun, moon, and rising. And we're in this season of Gemini, so this really might apply to more of us than we think. I know I'm a Gemini rising, but right, we're in Gemini season, and so we're all sort of feeling the effects of that. Okay, Libra, yeah. Okay, see, I was asking if Libra was an air sign. I was like, I almost forgot. Um, so yeah, so YouTube, I'm also reporting this on Instagram Live right now. Um... I was just liking the energy of it, so I'm gonna keep it going. Oh, y'all can kind of see the sunset behind me. All right, let's see what the situation is for you guys for the rest of, okay. Hold on. What else is going on for my air signs here? What else is going on? This is all for what's here. Why is it so important that they're... Hmm. Interesting. So again, we're picking up. So I did record this before, you guys, earlier in the day, and my computer and phone overheated. So I had to start over, and it was... Uh, I'm going to see if any of it comes up. Let's see what else this Three of Cups is about. And the Five of... It could be about a relationship or a group of friends or just like a collective of people that you guys might be trying to manifest. You guys are trying to create a community of people or a work situation. But it, there's, hold on, let's see what this Five of Swords is about. What's this Five of Swords about, Spirit? Yeah, it's, I, I, it's almost like you have to, de I don't know if you guys have to decide between a group of people or decide between one person and another, right, if you're in a relationship. Um, but there's like a choice that needs to be made um, with this two of pentacles. There's a choice that needs to be made, and you're stressed about it with this five of swords. With this two of pentacles clarifying the five of swords. And then you got the Three of Swords, which is about heartache, um, a torn heart, right? Just sort of, let's see what this Three of Swords is about. It's uh, something, um, yeah, something harsh was said. Somebody was very sharp with their tongue, very immature, which is kind of the energy I was picking up on before. It's not coming out exactly the same, but there's there's remnants of that. Definitely a sort of disagreement, um, and 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 now you're you're trying to think about how to either renew this or how to be in better relationship next time with this Three of Cups here. Is that resonating for you guys? Are you guys in conflict with a group of friends, or are you or someone you're involved with trying to be decide between you and something else? You and someone else, you and something else. What else for this Three of Cups magician, please? Yeah, 333 three, three is now on the board. If you guys want to look up that angel number meaning. Yeah, it's like you guys are like, and threes are about like, it's like you're about to build upon something. It's like, uh, it's like the early stages though. Yeah, okay. Okay, so this is resonating for some people on Instagram, you guys. So, okay. Yeah, there is definitely... Yeah, you guys want to build upon this. With this Seven of Pentacles coming out. Whoops. With this Seven of Pentacles coming out, right? It's like, I want to work on this. I want to see this. You know, it's, it's small, right? Like I said, it's the start of something, right? We're starting something new with this group of people or this relationship. Okay, yeah, there's definitely been a, 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 some words, um, but it seems like you guys are trying to go back with this Knight of Swords that just popped up as I was shuffling. 
It's like we're just trying to quickly go somewhere, maybe trying to quickly resolve this. And I would say right now with the energy energetically, if you guys aren't both emotionally mature and like you have a good like self-awareness, now might not be the time to have an emotionally charged conversation because Mars is about to be in Aries um, with this full, this solar eclipse happening. It's just, it's just, um, I'm not going to tell you guys not to talk to someone, right? But it's just like if, if you're feeling emotionally mature and you think they're emotionally mature and there's not going to be some sort of big, some blaming and pointing of fingers, right? Because that's, if people are going to start to get defensive um, or if people start to get passive aggressive, that's not a good, con like, you know what I mean? That's not in a base, that's not a good um, environment to have. A, a, so, you know, you're trying to heal this. You're not trying to make it worse. Right? We're trying to heal this Three of Swords energy, not make it worse. So yeah, this King of Swords has now just came back up, and he was the first card out of the deck during my first reading, and it was about a masculine who had said some sharp words, uh, been deceptive, or just was trying to act like a father figure and not a partner. Um, and he was he was reflecting on this the queen of pentacles so there is someone reflecting on the harsh words that were said he's very very pensive here trying to wade through his emotions and like i said that this is a time for that this is a time um sister shaman was on here last time and was saying you know this is a time this weekend is definitely for rest like there will be people wanting to reach out to you and sort of you know because we're in this sort of um about to enter this cancer theory and so we want to be held and we want deep com we want deep conversations but um, we need to get right within first i feel like both folks are whether they're not emotionally mature and they're defensive and yeah it's like that's not a um it's better to you know how they're just like just just sit there and receive what they're saying sometimes that's better because then you know that's two people butting heads um, sorry, YouTube. So a friend on Instagram said that she feels like the both folks she's in conflict with are both emotionally immature and defensive and passive aggressive. So yeah, that's not a good place to have a conversation, right? And the King of Swords can be quite cold. And so he needs to evolve this person, this energy, whoever he is. And you're like, he needs to evolve. He needs to come to some realizations by himself, right? Absent of you, because then, you know what I mean? It needs to be their idea. Right? They need to come. They need to sleep on it. They need to be visited by the angels in their dreams. Um, and the way that you could probably help the situation. Wow, the moon card came out before. Like I said, wading through these emotions. They're wading through these emotions. And you do, you do need to as well. Right? What is it that you really want? What kind of relationship do you want? Do you want to be in relationship with someone like that? Do you want to be in relationship with someone who can't take accountability? Now, this person is thinking about this, this disagreement, this conflict, but you know, we need to see how they're gonna come out on the other side before we just start welcoming people back into our space and granting ad granting them access to us when they've been harmful before, right? Because we have to know who we are now and know what we're worth so that we can be in better relationship. There's something else I was about to say and then I got, I got distracted. Um, Knight, King of Swords, King of Swords. I don't remember, y'all. I don't remember. I lost it. Um, okay, so the reason that you guys, air signs, are going through this. Wow. So them and you, probably. So we got the Page of Cups here, which talks about new love and sort of being swept away. That's kind of that, it's sort of like that young puppy love energy. It's also... Um, new inspiration from the heart uh, thinking about love right you guys are thinking about love you guys are thinking about how to be not even love but just how to be in better relationship i think a lot of us are right now how can we deepen our connections right moon card right how can we deepen our connections and so you're thinking about you're thinking about mm, you're thinking about how you've been immature in love before thinking about how you've been immature in relationship before and now we've got ten of wands ready to release that and be in more mature relationship page of cups releasing that sort of immature um you know lack of emotional maturity thinking very short-sightedly thinking about self versus you know thinking about well what am i getting from this 
right? That's the page of cups. They're in it for them. They're young, right? It's just like a teenager, right? They're just like, I'm just, you know, <laughs> I'm just in it for the fun and I'm just here to have an experience. And, you know, they're not thinking very deeply about this. They're not the king of cups, right? And so you're releasing, you and this person hopefully are thinking about how you've been immature in love, how you've been selfish, um, how you've left someone out in the cold before you just kind of left things hanging, you know, very immature, very just like, oh, I'm, I, I don't want to do this anymore. So I'm just going to leave. Right. That's immaturity. Um, leaving a conversation, right. Stonewalling, gaslighting, leaving conversations um, because you don't like how it's going. Um, getting defensive, being passive aggressive. Right. That's he doesn't have emotional maturity. And so you're releasing that ten of wands. You're releasing that because you know that's not what your heart really wants. You want to be in harmony. You like want to be able to share and, and be vulnerable so that you can really get to even deeper understanding and deeper intimacy and deeper relationship, whether it's romantic or not, platonic, business. Um, and then what you get when you release this, these immature ways, these immature beliefs, these immature behaviors, these immature ways of communicating, nine of cups. Beautiful. Like Look at how happy this card is. She's leading with her heart. Nine of Cups is about emotional fulfillment. It's about getting all that you need, right? It's almost 10 cups. It's about emotional. It's about self-sufficient joy, right? Nines are about independence. So she's self-sufficient in her joy, right? Because it, it, it's not about just, oh, you know, it's not just about repairing this relationship. It's about being a better person and being a person who's better to, right? I'm a good person to be in relationship with. Right? That's what this is about. Once I release these page of cups ways, I'm a better I'm a better friend. I'm a better lover. I'm a better associate. Um, and that brings that brings me so much more, right? When you're coming from a better place, things are attracted to you. Heart opened. Heart opened and ready to receive more love. Right? But if you're being cold and distant and emotionally immature, you're not going to get the love that you actually are wanting, the intimacy that you're actually wanting. So people have to really go through, the, the, let this, let this, let this, let any, so if, they're, if you're feeling very reflective, sit with that. Do that. Journal. Uh, sit out uh, outside and just sort of breathe, you know. I feel, yeah, I just feel like this King of Cups or King of Swords is just really thinking about what he said, what was what transpired, some nasty things that were said. And we want resolution, right? We all want resolution. Yeah. So uh, let me see. I want to ask next. Yeah, and, and earlier I was talking about there's a collective that you guys might be a part of. Um, it's like you manifested this with this magician card, right? You manifested this, these connections, this group of friends, this collective, this, yeah. Um, you manifested it and it's, it's taking some, for some of you, it's not about this male energy, but it's about putting in the work, um, to maintain this thing that you manifested. Wow. Yeah, it feels very business oriented, to be honest. Entrepreneurial um, aspirations, it feels like. Don't worry too much about it. Just be really honest with whoever this these group of people that you connected with. Because it seems like you guys are really wanting, yeah, Page of Pentacles just came out. Like, that's about, like, ideas coming into, you know, that's the seed of a new idea. That's like a... It's like you guys were working on something and then somebody like had a new perspective and now you're like, oh yeah, like still going in the same direction, but like let's just kind of veer right a little bit. That's that page of cup pentacles energy for me right now. Yeah, and it feels like this relationship is really teaching you all how to be again just self-sufficient, right? Really with the seven of wands I really like. She's like at peace. She's sitting in her meditative state. Nobody, nobody can sort of come in her bubble and mess up her, her energy, which is really, really beautiful. 
that's what happens when we spend enough time um, spend enough time getting to know ourselves what am I trying to say right you're you're paying so such, such close attention to your emotions that you're like oh I can see I'm getting a little angry I can see I'm getting tense and sometimes you know just keep going and fuck, sometimes you're just gonna get angry like who cares um, but at least you know how to you know, you're you're more aware of your triggers right this woman's aware of her triggers which is why she finds peace right She's aware of her triggers, and so she finds peace. Because if I know what's what's irritating me, I have I have choice now to either be bothered or not, right? And sometimes, you know, things like violence and gaslighting they, you know, they take anybody outside of their body and out of their peace. But you quickly get back there, is what my point is. So yeah, I really like whoever you guys have been connecting with. They seem to help you develop emotionally and spiritually after you've been after uh, after some after some um, abandonment from another person or group. Yeah, it's like you felt really left out in the cold before, and now this these other group of people felt abandoned, and now these other group of people have you feeling like you're in a high, better position, right? They they see you in a higher light, and the sun card came out too, so that's really beautiful. Let's see, let's see. Let's see some advice about this King of Swords that you guys might be dealing with. I know I'm talking about two different energies, and I'm sorry if that's confusing, but I can't help that. Two scenarios are coming. Advice spirit. Advice spirit for these people. Ooh, yeah, see? Um, this collective that you guys have been connecting with, this group, or even as it could just be a person. Right, because this could be, I like to sometimes think of one of these entities in the Three of Cups as spirit sometimes. If it doesn't feel like friends, it's just like a connection with Father, Son, Holy Spirit, right? And they're looking up at the stars, so it is about a sort of celestial connection. Mm. And so when, for advice for you guys, if whoever this is that's connecting with someone new, a new group of people that you've just manifested and you guys might have a business idea, it says luck is on your side. So yeah, like I said, this this group feels really good for you. So that's confirmed. Let's see about the people dealing with this King of Swords with this uh, sharp tongue. <laughs> and I'm not saying you guys don't have work to do too. You guys have to be emotionally mature too and you have to take accountability for what you did and said during this fight. Mm. So don't expect anything right away, all right? Don't expect anything right away is what I'm, is coming up, but communication will be coming communication is key I would say kind of take a breath take take a step back for a few days because I got nothing will come of this situation which don't be alarmed it's just sort of like hold on it's like a sort of pause it's like a sort of limbo it feel it feels like it's levitating right the energy feels like it's levitating and it's just sort of like don't touch it it's levit it's doing what it needs to do but then we've got communication is key in the new, and this is the new moon in Gemini, which is interesting, right? This fight happened during Gemini season, and hopefully during once this Cancerian energy enters in, we'll start to take responsibility over our emotions. We'll start to understand. We'll start to want to really significantly and responsibly deepen our relationships and, and take accountability. Hopefully, that's that's the King of Cups energy. And hopefully, that King of Swords starts to embody that, and you too, and you too. Let's see. And then last but not least, I'm going to give you guys a hero's journey card. Let's see where you guys are. Air sign, sun, moon, and rising. Where are my air signs at? Spirit, mid month of June. Where are they right now? I feel like I'm tapping into two different energies. Not that two things can't be going on. Okay, so first card out is flip it upside down. Question your beliefs. That feels like the moon card to me. 
So whoever was uh, in conflict with this king, this masculine energy, where you guys got into a little tiff, a little war of words, I feel like this is for you. Flip it upside down. Question your beliefs. Um, I feel, like I said, this reminds me of the queen. This reminds me of the moon card. Like, I don't know why. It's just sort of the, these depths that are having to go through. It's a, por it's a, a portal, too, it looks like. Okay, let me read this real quick for y'all so I can wrap this up because I'm hungry. Um, flip it upside down. Everything can be taken from a man, but one thing, the last of the freedoms, to choose one's attitude in any given circumstance, to choose one's own way, right? I like that. It's like when you guys had this fight, um, you guys could have chose different. This could have gone differently, but now you're sitting in, in the residue of that and in the lesson of that, um, and now we have a chance to flip it. We have a chance to um, see this um, in a new way. Let's see what the card says. Let me, I don't want to read everything. In dreams, the tragedy of fire, flood, and destruction can symbolize rapid change and new death. If you get stuck in black and white thinking, all you have to do is flip yourself upside down, literally or figuratively to see the world from a dream's perspective. When the sky becomes the ground and the ground becomes the sky, you realize you have the freedom and the ability to flip reality on its head, no matter how rigid the belief or experience. It's just waiting for you to turn it around. It's all his fault becomes, it's all my responsibility. Yes, air signs. I love this. It's either, I think this is both of you, right? Taking responsibility taking accountability for your part in this. I really like that. All right, let me read that again. It's all his fault, right? This could be you, because right, we're talking about this, whoever this, whoever it is in this dynamic. It's all the king of swords fault, turn it becomes, it's all my responsibility, right? Because let's talk about it. Let's talk about the fact that he might not, for some of you, right? He's not gonna, uh, um, gain emotional maturity and he's not going to dig into the depths of his emotions and he's going to keep blaming some of you so what are you going to do when you don't get that communication right you have to say i'm going to take responsibility and i'm also going to create the closure that i need and then uh it goes on and she doesn't love me transforms into i am loved more than i could ever perceive right so that's what this king of swords might be thinking about Right, because previously we had that Queen of Pentacles energy coming through, and she was sitting pretty. Okay, the feminine energy was like, I know my worth. I'm stepping back from this situation. You were being very nasty and very ugly, and you're thinking only of yourself, and you're thinking only of control and ruling. Um, and, and 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 in order for us to be in true union, for us to be in true relationship, I cannot have that energy here. Right, so she probably told him. You know, or she just removed herself from the situation, okay? So he's probably feeling like she doesn't love me, transforms into I am loved more than I could ever perceive. And so he goes through the spiritual awareness, awakening. Ah, it's within me, it's within my power. And the more that I love myself without judgment, the more that I, um, hold on. What's he going through? What's his spiritual transformation looking like, Spirit? Mm hmm. Yeah, he's like, he hasn't been resting. He hasn't been resting and it has been messing him up. He needs to go to sleep, whoever this is. This person needs some rest. They've been thinking so much about money. They've been thinking so much about work that they haven't given them time to get the downloads. They haven't given them time themselves time to heal, right? We've got this four of swords, which is about her weaving her heart back together after this three of swords, right? Three of Swords and then the Four of Swords. That, that that broken heart was being mended. That is what his spiritual awakening is looking like for you guys. Whoever this masculine is in your life, he is needing to go to sleep. Now this, remove yourself. Sister Shaman and I were talking about this earlier today. This isn't your work, honey. This is his work. All right, I know we wanna be there for people in their healing, but think about it. You go through your awakenings more or less alone, except, except when you like, you know, you go to a reader, you go, you know what I mean? and you could go and have those uh, revelations with the, the assistance. But like, you know, when you're at home and then you just sort of break down and cry, baby, that's by yourself. 
all alone in your room, in your tub, right? Curled up in the fetal position, just having a, having a week. He needs to do that. He, look at this card. He needs to scream up at the sky. He needs to scream up at the sky and heal. Cause that's what made him be so sharp with his tongue. Cause he's not, he, 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 he's not resting and he's looking for, he's expecting something of love that he's not getting and he needs to sort of recalibrate. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles, slow and steady work on his spirit. Slow and steady work on his spirit. Like I said, he's definitely thinking about this conversation. Your advice for... Worry not, worry not for whoever is in this conflict with this King of Swords. Worry not, stop it. I, we've got the Nine of Swords and the Five of Wands coming up here, which is very, like my head is like, I feel like a weight is on my head. It's very tense. So please breathe. It's going to resolve itself, okay? And if it doesn't resolve itself, which is what Sister Shaman was telling me as well, like then he's not your emperor. Like if he doesn't come back around, if he gives in to being on the hamster wheel of righteousness, right? Of, well, I'm right and you're to blame, right? Is that really the kind of person that you want in your, uh, that you want getting access to you? Is that the kind of person that you um, want to uh, align with? You know what I mean? Someone who's gonna keep being a bl uh, blaming you and not taking accountability and not kind of opening up his, his, his worldview. Don't worry about this, spirit is working on it. Um, make sure that you're, you know, doing your stuff, you're taking baths, uh, whatever you're, if you're feeling like you need a cleanse or if you're feeling like you want to bring in some love, um, journal, um, talk about how you're going to shift it from it's all his fault to it's my responsibility, right? Think about how you can do that. That, that will make you soul, soul full, you know, after all of this. This is a really beautiful, this is a beautiful opportunity for the both of you who got into this conflict. This is not a beautiful, right? You, you, you called, not you called this in, but this, this is an opportunity. These, these conflicts are a way to, are a, are a stepping stone to healing, which is funny because we have that, right? This is funny because we got that, that fiery conversation. You guys were sort of clawing all over each other, but, but once you sort of really get to the heart of the matter, Six of Wands is right after this, and that's about victory. So this is a really beautiful time, you guys. And if you guys need to rest, rest. Actually, I know you need to rest, so rest after this. Yeah, don't worry, you guys. Don't worry, air signs. Yes, healing is needed. <laughs> I am going to post this on my... YouTube, so feel free to share. Feel free to share. All right. Um, so then, for the rest of you, um, for the rest of you who are connecting with this new, this new family, these new friends, this new business, um, we've got um, where you are on your spiritual path is eyes on the prize, which is really, really beautiful. Like I said, this feels like really good energy. Whoever y'all have linked up with, congratulations. This is beautiful, beautiful energy. Um, so for you guys who were really connecting with this Three of Cups. You guys manifested these women or you manifested a deeper connection with, I don't know, there's just, there's definitely like some work aspect here. Eyes on the prize, trust the guidance of your North Star. For the air signs connecting with this message. Instagram, number 44, eyes on the prize. We got this sort of angelic woman pointing to this cosmos, number 44. As you journey back home with your reward in tow, right? It's like you you asked and you received whoever this is for, whatever job. Um, as you journey back home with your reward in tow, you realize this is more than a footpath. It's a weave between who you used to be and who you are becoming. You don't have to know exactly how this process will unfold from here on out. Your only job is to keep your eyes on the prize and follow your North Star. At this moment, your North Star is hanging directly over the place where you started this journey. Exactly. It's like you guys lost a group of people and now here you are back home and it's like, whoa, I'm back home, but I have these completely new people with me. 
and I feel so supported. Yes. At this moment, you're uh, consider George Bailey in the movie It's a Wonderful Life. Once he completed his life, once he completes his life review and has the epiphany that everyone would not be better off without him, he runs back to Bedford Falls and is home in time to hug and kiss his family and hang the Christmas star on the tree. He is in the same place as he started, but is changed and, and willing to participate in life from a whole new perspective. Yeah, it's like you guys realize that you're a co-creator and that you can manifest a new group of people who are in alignment with who you are. The mantra for this card is, I am connected with the celestial body of the universe. I have permission to shine at maximum wattage. And I feel like this group of people that you guys have connected with, they allow you to shine at maximum wattage. I put the seven of wands away, but she was sitting in her power. Nothing was phasing her. She was perfectly positioned. She felt very sure and confident in herself. She put in the work and now she was sitting pretty, right? You have permission to shine at maximum wattage. I feel like this is you guys shining with these with these people that you met. And like I said, the the other the moonology card that you guys got was luck is on your side. So really beautiful air signs. Congratulations for manifesting that and sitting in that and living in that. I'm so proud of you. I'm so happy for you. All right, beautiful people, let me know how these energies are playing out for you. Let me know if that resonated for you. If it didn't, please go watch your sun, moon, and rising. And there are plenty of other beautiful readers. Okay, one of my favorites is Queen Cups and House of Oshun. I love those two. They're beautiful. All right, air signs, I will see you guys next month. Have a very, very soft new moon. Have a soft and gentle solar eclipse. Or, yeah, solar eclipse. Go on a news diet, I would say around this weekend because it's about to get a little hot and i want you guys to stay stay in your power okay and not get emotionally manipulated all right air signs i will see you guys on the next one bye